A lot of people have been asking if it's possible to analyze asymmetric sandwich panels in Helios Composite Pro. Therefore, this video will go over an example of how users can build and analyze asymmetric sandwich panels. Helios Composite Pro's sandwich module assumes that sandwich panels are symmetric or that the laminate described by the user is used for sandwich, the sandwich's top and bottom face sheets. It cannot analyze sandwich panels that have different laminated face sheets on the top and bottom of the core. A simple way to get around this limitation is to simply build a laminate representing the sandwich panel in question. Before this can be done, you will have to build a lamina material with the properties of your core material. For this example, I have predefined a lamina that represents a flex core material with some typical properties you may see for this type of core. As you can see here. Next, you will have to build a laminate that represents your sandwich structure. Again, I have gone ahead and already designed a laminate that represents the asymmetric sandwich panel we want to analyze. The sandwich panel we will analyze has the predefined flex core material as the core and uses e-glass epoxy for the top and bottom face sheets. However, the layup angles for the top and bottom face sheets are different so that the panel is asymmetric. Once a laminate describing an asymmetric sandwich panel has been created, it will be possible to run analysis on it. One possible analysis you may want to run on your sandwich panel is finding out the stiffness matrix of your, pan of your panel is. This is done by going to the laminate module and selecting the ABD, ABD inverse. You will then load the laminate into the template by clicking open and selecting your laminate. Next hit calculate and then go to the ABD matrices tab where it will be possible to see that the B matrix is not zero and therefore your sandwich panel is in fact asymmetric. If you want to know stresses in one of the face sheet plies you could go to the laminate modulus again and select global and local stresses and strains. Again, you will want to load your laminate. Now you will want to click on the laminate loads tab. For this example, we will be entering a axial moment of 10 inch pounds per inch. Once this is entered, select the calculate tab. Using the default selected options, you can find the global stresses due to our axial moment at the middle of each ply in the sandwich panel. Here are the global stresses. These were just a few calculations that can be run on an asymmetric sandwich panel in Helios Composite Pro. The critical thing to remember is if you want to analyze an asymmetric sandwich panel, you will need to first build a laminate that represents this type of structure. This concludes the video going over analyzing asymmetric sandwich panels in Helios Composite Pro. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the address seen on your screen.